Okay, so I showed you guys earlier that I went to the P.O. box and all of these cards were in there, which I just, again, I don't even know what to say about that. So we're gonna open them one by one. And this one is from, I'm not sure, it just says 1120 Franklin, area code 43421, or I mean zip code 43420. Don't know. But from Amy Wagner. What a pretty card. Like, look at that. Isn't that super pretty? Chloe's watching me. That's like totally your vibe. That's so cute. Like lake vibe. I love that card. It says stay strong. Oh, super sweet. Praying for you and your family. So thank you, Amy. The next one is from Lori Deming from Davidson, North Carolina. Um, some of you know, but Sam and I actually lived in North Carolina for a while um, in Fletcher, right outside of Asheville. Thinking of you and all you're going through, knowing some days can be harder than others. Oh, wow, she wrote a lot. Um, I won't read all of that, but super, super cute. Love that one. Love the, you know, Sam's watching too. Christian took his girlfriend home. But um, I love the the wheat. I'm I'm a Midwest girl, so the the wheat field pictures. We always joke like my favorite thing is to drive down the road. Um, and see like um, we call it like the hills with like the, the bales of hay. I can't stretch that far. <clears throat> this one is from Joanne Spellinger. I hope that's how you say it. This one feels poofy. Oh wow. She's either a card maker or has a really cute shop to shop at. Look at this card. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? Mm. It says, hello, sunshine. Hi, Melissa, sending good wishes, hugs, and prayers. We all miss you. That's so sweet. All right, I'm looking at them and then passing them slash pitching because can't reach over there. Uh, next one is from, like, I love this woman's handwriting. Like, can you see this? That is incredible. Um, oh, Clearwater, Florida. So we also lived in Florida, uh, but in Orlando. But we would, like when we lived there, we would go to Clearwater a lot to the beach. Oh, that's pretty. I love that. It's not super pretty. Love the colors. Oh my goodness, like even more of the handwriting. That is incredible. My grandma had the most amazing handwriting ever and um, this is right up there with it. Like a lot of this looks very much like my grandma's handwriting, so. Um, I'm not gonna talk about that anymore because then I might cry and that's kind of what we do around here lately. So thank you so much for that. Did I say who that was from? Um, I think I just said it was from Clearwater, Florida, but is there a name? Look on the inside of that. Uh, like, what did they sign? Is that the card? Oh, wow. I know, isn't that and awesome? Bobby? Is there a last name? No, just Bobby. Bobby from Clearwater, Florida with amazing handwriting. That's who that one was from. This one, we think it's from Britain or England or something. It says British Heart Foundation and there's not like a, um, like it's got royal, like a royal mail sticker on it. So I can't quite tell where it's from. 
Um, but that's really cool. Oh, that's cute. That one. Hope you feel better soon. They have really good handwriting too. Everybody has super good handwriting. This is from, oh, but it says England. Okay, I'm gonna probably butcher this name, which I apologize for because I understand with the last name Hunergart. Um, Clave or Clave Davies. Isn't that great handwriting also? I love England. Many of you know, we were supposed to go to London for um, spring break, but that just wasn't in the cards for right now. So we're gonna go at a different time when we will enjoy it even more. Oh wow, what a beautiful card. This is from, I'm not, um, let's see, Good Lettersville, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. We have lived in close to Tennessee in Calhoun, Georgia. Chloe spent time in Chattanooga when she was born at CT at TC Thompson. Uh, Vicky Teeple, I think is how you say that. But look how beautiful that card is. It's so not pretty. I love that. One feels very thick. This is from Rebecca Stewart in Auburn, Indiana. Shockingly, we haven't lived in Indiana. Oh wow, that one's pretty. Look at all these butterflies. I feel like something's gonna pop open when I open it because it feels mm -hmm. like one of those. Oh wow. Oh, that's so green. That's right up Chloe's alley. That is so cute. Oh, and then she wrote a cute little note on the back. Oh, I love that. These cards to me are like so amazing. Like I just, I just love them. I have a feeling Chloe's gonna try to steal this and like mount it on her dresser yeah. or something. Um. Twyla Summers, I think is how she says her name. From, let's see, Lancaster, Ohio. Oh, that's cute too. This actually, this looks like it might be a homemade card, which I love even more. Like those look like stamps to me. I used to really be into that. Um, when the kids were little, you know, when I still scrapbooked. Um, yeah, Twyla Summer, Summers. Very, very cute. I love that. You guys are awesome. Oh, and it has like a cute little inside to the... Envelope. I couldn't think of the word. Words are still hard. Here you go. Oh. And now we see, I have a lot, well, Kristen has a lot of scrapbooks. Oh. <laughs> you have like three. <laughs> I see this. I'm not seeing it. You brought me a lot of, not bad things, but. We had a lot, a lot different issues with you. All right, so look at this card. Like how. I don't mean that in a bad way, Chloe. I just mean like. Yeah, I know. With your hospital stuff and whatever. I didn't have as much time. <laughs> Isn't that cool? It's like it moves. Um, this is from Joanne Swellinger. No, wait, let me see. Spellinger from Dayton, Ohio. My dad would love that. He used to, huh? I got quite a few of, of Ohio people. Oh, she sent me two. Oh, she was the one with the other cool card, too. 
Joanne has like some, some real bougie cards going on. And she has this like really cool um, like tape right here on the side. Very, very cool. My dad used to go to Dayton, Ohio for the ham radio con, um, not contest, what do you call that? Convention every year. Uh, but he hasn't been for years. This is Amy Wagner from Fremont, Ohio. Oh, that's sweet. This one might make Chloe cry. <laughs> she sent one. I'm guessing this is for Piper. Um, because it says, no longer at your side, but always in your heart. Wow, well, that's cute. Our pets are family, and that makes it so hard to lose them. I'm not going to read that anymore. I'll read that <laughs> later. <laughs> Oh, we're just, we're just an emotional crowd around here anymore lately. I love that. That's cute. Chloe had a little moment this morning over Piper. I don't even remember what it was. It was... What were we talking about? Because it's been, so it's been a month. She died um, February the 5th. And so we just passed a month, but we were talking about something this morning Oh, because I had a dream about her. Yeah, but what was we it? said something, and then you were like, ooh, I got a little teary-eyed over that one. I wasn't expecting oh, that. Yeah. But I don't remember what we were talking about. Mm -hmm. Again, Joanne. Oh, my goodness. Sillinger? Oh, those are so pretty. I love that. Mm. So, so sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. These are like the best. Feels like, um, like Christmas, like with the Christmas cards. I feel, are you like tearing up? <laughs> Chloe just read the dog card. <laughs> oh no. Now she's like, now she's like weeping over here on the side. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to turn the camera so they can like see? <laughs> oh, oh, we're still a little bit raw. Again from Joanne. Oh, Joanne's like my pen pal. This is um, beautiful. I love did this. Did you read Joanne's part? It said her friend had a mastectomy and um, for, part of her therapy and recovery, she makes these cards. Oh, that's so and cool. she's given them to her, so you'll be getting... A lot of them. Oh, so that's, that's awesome. That's really, really cool. So her friend, what Sam was saying is, you're saying Joanne's friend had also had a mastectomy. And so part of her therapy is just making cards. And so Joanne is going to be sending me a lot of her friend's cards, which is super awesome. I, this one, didn't I say this one was from her too? If this lady's making these cards, this is amazing. Mm -hmm. Like that is... Wow. You good, Chloe? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel like if this is the Joanne that I think it is, I feel like you have followed me from like the very beginning. Um, I feel like you and I have talked for a very long, long time, like clear back to Colorado days. Um, you can comment down below if, if that is you, but if it is like I, you, you are definitely one of my OGs. This is beautiful also. I think that's the same. It looks like the, one. yeah. This is from um, P. Brazzy, Brazy, B R A S S E Y, from Marietta, Georgia. So when I saw that, it made me laugh because when we lived in Calhoun, I used to have to drive 
um, to Marietta to go to the mall. That's when I still liked the mall, um, which I don't like the mall anymore now. But I, like that was right after Cartersville and Cartersville is where the Target was that I would have to drive to because Calhoun only had Walmart, which I love, um, but I had to go, um, I had to go to Cartersville to, oh wow, look at the inside of this, to go to Target. And I did um, Black Friday with my friend one year in Marietta at that mall, I don't remember what it's called, and I swore that if I lived to be a thousand, <laughs> I would never, ever do that again. And I haven't. So I know very, very well where Marietta is. This is again from Joanne. I love the gold on the inside of that. So, so cool of you guys. It's very, um, very humbling. I brought all of this home and I told Sam, I was like, I seriously thought I would get like one or two cards. Like I could barely get this and those boxes out by myself. Uh, this is from Carol Roddenbeck from Indianapolis, Indiana. Not super bright and springy. Cute. Oh, that's really cool. Are these, let's see, are these, I think they're bookmark, I think they're bookmarks or stickers. Let me see. I'm sure I could read it and tell, but. I like Yeah, they're like little stickers and bookmarks. So this is a sticker. These are bookmarks which is really cool because it's like a different saying on each side of them. And then this little encouraging card. It's really cute. All right, the next one is from Virginia Piano. Wow, that's a that's a really cool last name to have. And she is from Export, oh my land, I'm gonna show my ignorance right here, PA, Pennsylvania. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I thought so. Oh, that's cute with the hummingbird. Oh, it's really pretty on the inside too. I love the envelope too, like look how coordinated that is. Isn't that cute? Ooh. All right, next is Anne Robadu. I think it's how she says it, from Essex Junction, Vermont. Rubidoux. Rubidoux? Yeah. Rubidoux, Look, we get it. Again, last name is Hunergart, so, you know, we understand the challenge. Oh, that's pretty. Isn't that? We just did not have a lot of snow this year, so it was kind of sad, actually. Um, oh boy, this picture is totally for Chloe. I'm oh. not showing. Oh, Chloe loves like lakes, sunsets, all the things, Ouch. boats. So Burlington, Vermont. So these are from 
like where she lives. Oh my goodness. That's on my bucket list. I have never been to Vermont. Not like, like in the fall, like we were uh, there for like a little, summer. a little a tiny week. bit um, in the summer, but I would love to go back in the fall and just see how beautiful it is there. All right, this one is from Connie Caldwell from Winfield, West Virginia. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, those pretty colors. Mm -hmm. Some boy would love these colors. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, that's who I was just referencing is the friend of mine that gives me such a hard time about being a neutral girl. Oh, wow, look at her handwriting too. Oh, wow, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. Just the thought that like you guys took the time to send me these cards, but then like you've all written so much in them, which I will go back and read every one of them, but I don't want to take your time right now. Sam's reading them all as I'm sending them to him over there, but like I'm just, I can't tell you how humbled I am that you would take the time to do that about just like over somebody that you see here on the internet. Mm. Isn't that cute? We went through Burlington when um, we went to that conference here in Colorado. We were three of us. Was I there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. That's so cute. That is very cute. The inside, it's like, matches the out. I love it. I don't know why I'm putting these back in if you're just going to read them anyway. Um, that one was from Valerie Wood in Manitoba, Canada. Wow. We have been to Canada twice. Well, mm -hmm. Sam's yeah. been there twice. The kids and I yeah. couldn't. We've been there. Oh, we've been there. We've been there yeah, we went twice. Sam has been three times. There was a year in there that the kids and I could not go, but... Um, <laughs> uh, we've been to, what were the two places Quebec. that we went? Quebec and, Mont Mont how do you say that? Mont, 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 Mont Tremblant. Mont Tremblant. Tremblant, yeah. And I got that stuffed animal there from the hotel. Yeah, but it was beautiful. Look at the inside of that. And I love the, the front of that. Mm -hmm. This one um, is from, wow. Very fancy handwriting too. Juliana Weaver from Columbus, Ohio. Mm -hmm. Very ha fancy mm -hmm. handwriting. I'm not gonna put that in. Oh, you wanna see it? All right, and then we've got two packages to open. This one is from um, Cami Wilson from, I think it's Hodgson, Georgia. I guess how you say that? Totally sure. Um, Like this is one of my favorite ways to wrap presents is with twine and yarn and all of that. I love this. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna lose it again. <laughs> oh, that's cute. She has like a little, like a little ribbon thing that you can carry it around. Oh, wow, I love that. Oh, and the flags. I love the people. 
Oh, that's, that's like, so pretty. those flags are totally up my alley. You guys know that mm. I love, 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 love flags. So I have another animals, like so cute. Um, do you want to read it right now in front of the people? <laughs> Lisa. <laughs> what a pretty book. Like, look at all, I'm going to scoot over here. Like, look at all the beautiful, just like illustration. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> it definitely um it definitely takes time to heal every day gets better but it's only been a month so it definitely is still a little rot you're gonna read it down there where we can't yeah. see you <laughs> And then lastly, from Eileen Hoffman. Oh, I see some pretty wrapping paper. reminds me of the wrapping paper that my grandma used to wrap our presents in at Christmas time. Like she was very much into like the florals, which it was very much this pattern, but it was in like Christmas colors. And this totally reminds me of her. Isn't that so pretty? And it like Kind of like has this like glisten thing when you move it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a pretty card. Oh, you good down there? <laughs> There's that one. <clears throat> I feel like I need to be like my grandpa was at Christmas with wrapping paper. Like how many people's grandparents? It wasn't my grandma as much. Although I take that back. She would, he would open hers for her, but like he had his pocket knife and it was literally like he was chiseling the, um, tape off of the package um, so that they could reuse it. And they did. I'm very intrigued by what this is. Um, I think she's the one that sent the book. Where's she from? Um, she was from, uh, she was from Georgia. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah, Tammy was from Hochton, Hochton, H-O-S-C-H-T-O-N, Georgia. Um, <laughs> the 
that you guys took the time to like do this is so just incredible to me. Ugh. So we've got some fresh and clean. My land, Chloe's like crying on the floor. <laughs> I'm crying up here. Like, pull oh it together. Um, this is sweet apple, fresh tangerine, sea spray, body lotion. Oh man, Chloe, come smell this. This is gonna be. Oh, you're gonna love this. I feel like we need to give you some sea salts to pull you together over there. <laughs> she said she needs to pull herself together. Mmm, smell that. Isn't that a good one? And then there's a candle, which you can't steal. Because <laughs> Chloe, I know, will totally try to put this in her room. Cares. Everybody understands. I'm just gonna sit on the couch all night and just like smell. <laughs> oh my land! So I have to tell you a funny story. Well, first let me finish this. Like how cute is this? Oh, and this is so soft, and it zips up the front because you know I have to have buttons or zippers. Oh, yeah, read it. It's that. Oh, Sam looked at the book and he was like, oh, jeez. <laughs> he might be on the floor in a fetal position here in a second, too. Isn't that super cute? Oh, I love this. That's so awesome. Thank you. Um, but a funny story about some lotion. So, it was like at Christmas time and I was at TJ Maxx. It was actually when um, I bought those dangly earrings that I wore a couple days ago. Uh, I think I did a video in them, like the, the ones that hang down and then they have kind of like the pressed um, metal on the bottom. And I was walking through and there was like an end cap with, <laughs> with lotion. And I wanted to smell the scent. And so again, on an end cap, like I'm I'm in the hall area where everybody passes through. And I went like this to like smell it and I couldn't quite smell it enough. And I don't know, I don't know what possessed me to do this, but I squeezed it. And it literally like right up my nostril, like I'm out in the middle of, of everyone where they can see. So I'm like hurrying, like scurrying behind the thing, like trying to wipe my nose and get lotion out of my nostril because it was just a diddle. I mean, my gracious. Oh boy. Well, now that we're all in tears over here. <laughs> Sam's not crying yet, but nice, all right, you guys, I, in all honesty, like I cannot even thank you enough for just like taking the time out of your busy schedules. Our lives are busy and, you know, let's be honest, like we've never officially met. Um, I know that we have this amazing connection here on YouTube and I love that. And I have said it a ton over the last few days, like you guys are the ones that are getting me through this during the day because I'm able to communicate with you. I'm able to respond to your comments when my kids are at school and Sam's at work and I'm here alone trying to avoid snacking. <laughs> like all of that and I can't do anything and you are truly the ones that um, are keeping me going and so just to think that you would take the time to like send me a card is just so humbling to me and incredible that you would just even add me to your to-do list for the day so 
from the bottom of my heart, I, I just want to thank you so, so very much for doing that. Like that, that has been, um, definitely the highlight of my day. Like I told Sam, I thought I was going to go pick up a couple cards, bring them home. Um, and that was going to be it. And when I opened that box, I was blown away. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So we ran out of time doing this when my sister was here. So I'm going to do this really quick and then have Chloe be the one to crawl up on the toilet seat. Since that is obviously not a place that I should be right now but i got this cute little um vase i actually got it on discount because it has that so it doesn't bother me at all because we're going to give it one of these and no one will ever know so it's from walmart you can find them um without that but i got them to come down on their price because it um had a little had a little malfunction but these are the tulips that I have all over my house. They're linked on my storefront. You guys can find them. I love them. They come in tons of different colors. I've used them for years. And what we're going to do is do what we did with the ones over there in the other pot. And just curl them so that they aren't as high. So we'll do those at that height and then these we will do just a little bit lighter, lighter, uh, shorter. And then we're just going to kind of poke these in through. That way we've got some that are taller, some that are shorter. And then you guys know that I like to kind of droop a few of them over. That way it just makes it look more realistic. This is going to go in that bathroom that I was telling you about. Right now we have that one vase in there. I'm just not loving it. For one thing, it's too big for that space. Um, the flowers are too big for it. And so it just kind of hits on the top of the shelf and it it's just not proportionally uh, pleasing. So we're gonna swap it out with this. Perfect. Yeah. Let's droop this one a little bit more. All right. So now I'm going to have Chloe go in and crawl on the toilet <laughs> and swap out um, this for what's in there. All right. So this is the one that we are going to swap. Um, it's just too, it's too full up there for this time of year for one thing. Like it would be better if it was, you know, still fall or winter, but it's just not adding any um, like spring or summer element to the space. So that one needs to come down and then we are going to swap it with this one. Just don't step right, yeah, right in the middle. In the this middle one's kind of on the sides. So I hand me that one. Uh, is it heavy? Um, I don't really want you to hold on. Okay. And then make sure that the side with the blemish goes towards the back. Okay. Bring it forward a little, quite a bit. Yeah. yeah. And is then, it gonna pull any up? Yeah, if you'll like bend some of those front ones down just so that they kind of droop a little bit on the sides. It just makes them look more realistic. Mm -hmm. And that is what it looks like. I think that looks way better. 
in this space for spring and summer. And now I have the flowers off my desk because they've been sitting there for like the last two weeks. And I just haven't had anybody help me do them and I haven't felt like doing it. So um, now it's all done. All right, if you say that's too heavy, if you'll grab that yeah. and we'll take that downstairs for fall, that is the final product. Perfect, thank you.